You're gonna love this video, and I know that you will be, find so much value in this because it's gonna to talk to you about organ meats. And if you remember when you were a kid, growing up, you could go to your grandma's house and you would smell something. And, it, and many times it was like, man, this is gonna taste so good. You know, grandma's cooking uh, dinner. And then you would get to the dinner table and to find out that she cooked you liver. And I can tell you right now that um, I was very disappointed that that mushy nastiness is not what I wanted to eat. But I'll tell you that organ meats have become a huge, or were, I'm sorry, a huge part of the human diet. And it really makes sense. I mean, if you think about uh, just nature in general, when an animal catches an animal, it doesn't skip that part of the meal. And uh, I think it's just something that we're missing in our diet today. A lot of the research will tell you this too, that the organ meats are very high methylating foods and methylation is one of the key parts of our body's detoxification system. Uh, you know, I, I, people are always talking about how do I detoxify my body? I want the best detox product there is. Well, I would say that organ meats is one way to make sure you're always doing that on a regular basis. So I think if there's one missing food that we could all add to our diets that would be beneficial, it would be eat more organ meats. Now. For most of you, that sounds disgusting, and I understand that, um, but there are, way, are ways to make it good. And I'll give you one quick tip on liver. How do you make liver taste better? And so what I do is I'll cook, I'll get a grass-fed organic beef liver, and I'll cook that in a pan with uh, butter or goat's butter, organic butter, and I'll keep it at a low temperature or even use coconut oil, and we'll, I'll simmer that in a, in a cast iron skillet with sea salt and onion powder. And I know that sounds like, oh, that's it, but I'm telling you sea salt and onion powder, and if you wanna go to the next level, cook it in onions, and it actually will taste pretty good. And if you can't get past that mushiness taste, then you cut into little bitty chunks after you've cooked it, and you throw it in with some ground beef, and then you got your liver. And you can really put that into tacos, and you can find all kinds of way to, ways to get liver in. So liver is by far the number one uh, uh, healthy uh, organ meat on the planet. So I highly recommend start adding liver to your diet. Now, if you're someone who's like, I'm not doing that, I'm not eating organ meats, that's crazy. Actually, I'll tell you a story. Last weekend we had, um, we cooked uh, a cow heart, <laughs> okay? So if you've seen a cow heart, it's like the size of my head. It's this huge heart. And when you look at it, it's just like, okay, I'm gonna eat this. And you gotta go through and you gotta clean it up a little bit. But what we did is we cut it into chunks. So these little chunks and um, cooked it on the pan exactly how I just told you for the liver meat. I did a, a, a butter, organic butter. I did uh, sea salt and onion powder on it and we simmered those uh, and we cooked the, the uh, cubes of heart. And I'll tell you that everyone at the party loved it. And, it, I think every, and the number one thing I heard is this tastes like filet mignon. I mean, it literally was. It tastes like steak. The fat on it was amazing taste. It was like candy. I'm telling you, eat yourself some heart, right? What do they say? Eat your heart out, right? Or eat your cow's heart out. So, but you want to be grass-fed, organic. You want from a local farm is always best. And um, one of the best things about that is it's good for you and it's very affordable. I've seen every from like even three to four dollars a pound for uh, cow's heart because not, not a lot of people realize how good it is. So, organ meats are really good. So, I'm going to give you a simple way. If you're someone that's like, I'm not going to eat organ meats, quit talking about this. This is disgusting then here's what you do. You need to get a glandular desiccated form of organ meats because these things are really good for you. When you eat something, like helps like. So that idea of homeo, uh, homeopathic medicine, like helps like, is when we eat some, a liver, it helps our liver. When I eat, uh, you know, when, when you eat uh, kidneys, it helps your kidneys, right? And so it's very important to know that if you eat organ meats, it's going to help those organs be healthy. It's a support system. I've given people liver, desiccated liver, and they'll start getting skin issues and things like that because it really stimulates stimulates liver detoxification. A lot of times that'll come out in the skin because they have a lot of uh, chemicals and, and toxins built up in their body. So here's some of the benefits from uh, uh, organ meats, and then I'm gonna give you how do you get them if you don't wanna eat them, okay? So benefits from organ meats, high in B6, very important, high in a lot of the B vitamins really, but B6, B12, a lot of people are deficient in B12. That's one of the big things right now is always getting B12 shots eat your organ meats. That's one of the best ways to get it. Um, riboflavin, which is really big for your energy and actually a, a good part process of the brain health. And then also B, uh, or folate, which is huge for, in, for women uh, having babies and just in general overall health. So those B vitamins are key. Also high in vitamin A. One of the reasons uh, you know people get acne issues is because they have vitamin A issues, processing issues in the liver. And eating liver very high in vitamin A can be very helpful for that high methylating foods, right? So just like cruciferous vegetables are really high methylators and they have the um, precursors 
the things your body needs to produce glutathione, which is how your body detoxifies, so do organ meats. They have that as well, okay? And so that's a really great way. It's also high in zinc. Zinc is the big deal right now. Everybody wants to take their zinc. It actually kind of cracks me up that zinc is so popular uh, because of coronavirus. But either way, it's high in zinc. So you're making sure you're getting your um, the amount of zinc that you need so you don't have to take a supplement. That's big as well. What else we got? Selenium. Selenium, that's huge for thyroid health, for overall hormone health in general. Men for testosterone, zinc and selenium are two big big things that a lot of people are deficient in. And so you're gonna get a high level of selenium from taking that as well. It's also one of the strongest antioxidants. So that's a, a very benefit there. Um, I got my list here, I got a couple more. Uh, copper and choline, and uh, yeah, that's ones I forgot, and iron. So choline, amazing for your brain health. Choline is something that just helps you think clearer. Um, a lot of good processes there. And then iron, a lot of women are deficient in iron. So what I'll do is have them take desiccated liver as a supplement, especially if you have a heavy cycle and things like that, but making sure you're getting enough iron is really key, okay? And I think that last one is copper, which a lot of people don't realize we do need copper. It's one of the trace minerals that's very important for actual um, transfer of iron uh, for other health issues uh, or health um, processes as well in our body. So organ meats are one of the most nutritious things you can do, especially liver. So here's how you get organ meats without, right, eating them, even though I think you should. I think you should give a shot is you supplement with it, right? We have a cool glandular line. I'm actually not shooting this video to promote anything, but I just love these products because they're what I just said. You get organ meats without eating them. You know, even though I'm eating liver, I'm not eating pancreas. So this digestive glandular actually has uh, grass-fed pancreas, grass-fed duodenum, and grass-fed stomach along with liver. So a big part of our digestive health is right here in this bottle or something like straight liver. If you're someone that you know, hey, I want liver, I wanna make sure I'm detoxifying, but you don't have it, right here. And this is my favorite one because it's a male glandular. And this one's pretty funny because um, I get to tell you that you get to eat cow balls or testes, grass-fed testes right here, guys, come and get it. Uh, but prostate and heart are also in here as well as liver, which helps a healthy liver is how you get rid of estrogens, guys. So it's very important that your liver is not backed up. So prostate, testes, heart, and liver, every man should be taking this right here, male glandular. For the females, I don't wanna leave you out, and so you get to eat some ovaries, right? We got some over. this is actually pretty funny. Uh, we get to liver and cow ovaries right here, and I've actually, uh, for the women that have taken this so far, actually and some really good feedback on, on how it makes them feel, which is pretty cool. So you got a female glandular, you have your immune glandular. This one I love as well, because this is one of the biggest things is adrenals, right? Thyroid and adrenals. There is an epidemic of thyroid and adrenal problems in our world today because of high stress levels. When you're stressed, your adrenals go up, your cortisol goes up, your thyroid, your TSH is gonna go down and are, is, gonna, is gonna be affected there. So you're not gonna stimulate uh, your thyroid anymore. You're gonna see hypothyroid issues over time. And many times just uh, the test on your thyroid from the doctor telling you have a thyroid problem is really an adrenal problem, right? By taking thyroid and adrenal um, as a on a regular basis as a supplement, amazing idea. And again, there's liver in here as well. All these have liver because that's a huge part of every process. And then the final one on here, I actually don't even have it. I didn't have it out here, I'm sorry. But it's the blood sugar one, which gives you pancreas and I think uh, kidneys, which helps blood sugar levels, and also just kidney health in general. So those are our glandular lines we just kind of started using. And uh, we've used desiccated hormones, or I'm not hormones, I'm sorry, desiccated glandulars for a while. Uh, this is just the Wellness Way has come out with theirs, and they always have high quality stuff. It's from grass-fed organic animals, I believe from New Zealand, and um, just high quality, so we know there's not a bunch of chemicals in there because the animal does matter, just like when you're eating meats. So if you're someone that, hey, you eat a lot of uh, healthy meats and things like that, but you haven't dove into this yet, I highly recommend start out with liver, and then if you know you have a specific issue, like a fatigue issue with adrenals or thyroid issue, then maybe use that. Male, female, or glandulars, that's a huge one as well. Cool? Hey guys, get yourself some of this uh, glandular stuff, but I really want you to try what I told you about liver and what I told you about the heart, because I think you're gonna love eating it. And hey, if you're someone that's like, I wanna eat healthy, but I just can't afford it, start buying liver and heart. That's one of the most affordable things on the planet. So you guys have an awesome day and we'll talk to you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you wanna connect with us and learn more, we're constantly shooting information or shooting videos. We actually have a blog as well and we have a website where you can learn so much more. If you want help with your health, you can actually connect with us, come into our clinic or jump on a phone call with us and see if we can help you. To do that, Go to the links below in the in the information area and click those areas and then you can move forward and see how we can actually address and help you with your health issues as well.